Did you ever take the trash out, Dad? Yeah. Did you ever take the trash out? So here is Sacks. All right, viewers, what do you do with Sacks? Tell me. I want to know do you recycle your plastic sacks? If so, kind of tell how. Do you take them to the store? Do you have a recycling place? We are not the most recyclable in Southeast Arkansas. So maybe I'll one day be able to figure that out, but you can take them back to Walmart if I'm not mistaken. But that doesn't mean every place can. So, okay, I need to just figure out why the crud, all this stuff is just everywhere. There's trash everywhere. I normally do better with boxes and throw them away. I don't know. I think some is probably because I'm going through stuff and getting rid of things and neglecting some stuff. But then I really think this is always a problem. There's always just trash. Look, there's like piece of paper just all around the edge there. I don't know why these are still in bags. This all looks so disgusting. There's got to be an easier way. What is this doing out? We ate bananas yesterday. We can do a lot better. Oh, this is ridiculous. I'm so embarrassed to even put this all on there. Okay, so today I'm actually um, got the privilege of helping a friend now. And I have two extra children today, but that's not what this video is about. We're still on our minimalist journey. I'm going to try to set a timer and spend one hour a day feeling better about my minimalist stuff. But on day one of this, I'm going to go through, and it's not going to take an hour, thank you, Lord. I'm going to see if I can fill up a trash bag or how many trash bags I actually fill up. So, stay tuned and see what actually happens. Silas got everybody sick. Okay. He had... They were using these, these toothbrushes, the electric ones. My mom got them. Everybody was using that. They knew their character. Well, then the kids didn't want to get rid of these, and we swapped toothbrushes to these only because JC got a new one with my friend. And you can see it's time for another new one. Look at that. She brushes the best on all of them. So, anyway... I don't know where, oh, here was somebody's. That was actually Silas's. But, somebody brought their toothbrush over here, okay? So, if I'm doing something, I tell them to go in and brush their teeth, and that's what's been happening a lot lately. This little thing I had got somewhere, and toothbrushes fit in it well, and those are our replacement toothbrushes, and there was only supposed to be three in there, but the kids, Anyway, whatever. I was keeping mine in there, so let me not get wordy with it. Silas will take his toothbrush anywhere and leave it anywhere. Apparently, he'd started using these two. Then, apparently, he started using this one. This was mine. Okay? This was his. Thad was content using his Paw Patrol. Jason was using one of these. Ridiculous. So, there's not even a bag in that but there's some trash. Uh, oops. First, can you find a bag of trash in your house? Mm -hmm. Do you think, right now, if you went through and just finally disposed of something that you were like, no, I'll fix all this, all that, or I just got sick and bought everybody new toothbrushes, but the old toothbrushes had not made it off the counter. I'm good at trashing stuff, but I probably can still find a bag of trash. Question is, now I think I'm gonna actually find more bags of trash. That's not a question, but. So viewers, what do you think you would actually have in your home in that trash bag? Okay, that might be a good question. So, in the comments, put that down. Do y'all know what this stuff is? If you've seen our lightning strike video, our washer got messed up, not the dryer, and our blender got killed, and our dishwasher got killed, and our aquifer got shook loose, a bunch of iron, but that's a little, we'll just separate that right now. Do you know the insurance told me to keep stuff at that point? Now, we got struck by lightning at the end of July last year. This is not cool. This is one year later, 
and I had just, I kept everything above there because we had to work on the washer and I was like, this is how stuff's gonna go and they replaced the washer and they replaced the dishwasher and that's where monstrosity comes from. So what am I doing? Why am I keeping a dishwasher and the blender and stuff? So let's just go through and lay it out on the table what I find around the house that's trash. Except the toothbrush, I just need more. What trash in your house have you done like me? Or what do you think you would find the most of? Comments, viewers. I really love, people are starting to comment on our channel. And I really love it. We're slow to respond. Be patient with us. We're minimalist. We don't even have signal sometimes. <laughs> trash. Look. This is what all I have found. Um, I didn't even expect to. I, actually, I really expect to have this kind of stuff. I mean, this was kind of stupid. I have no idea. But, come on. A little bottom of a Lego man. Um, this was from my wax pot I bought. I don't know why I still have it. But, the Band-Aid stuff. The kids... That's a piece to a ball. So with kids, JC feeding a rabbit kale. This little bit of stuff is kind of normal. Here's from last night, taking off the twist tie thing. But this stuff here is, Tyler was taking chips for his lunch, and I'm gonna tell the truth on this. He, this week is not. These actually set their week. Like I say, we, deal with these all at one time and put the chips take them out of here and put them in a thing anyway that's been a week why'd I do that I don't know here I had only one roll it holds one and two rolls to make the 90 bags I used up one roll so I normally am better at taking this out and doing away with this bulk so um that was just me downsizing I was going through stuff here's um some Right. So let's go through this real quick. This was from our lightning strike. Why am I still having it? They asked us to hold on to stuff till it closed. We closed before Thanksgiving. Oh, sorry, I was putting my finger in the way. So this is trash. It's no good. We tried looking at it and deciding if we could replace a part to it. We called it. This was our blender, our ninja blender. Ninja ninja. That was the brand. Here, since I knew I would be getting rid of all this stuff, this is cosmetics I have not used. When I had it, I used it for a little while, consistent, never consistent enough to reorder. What's in here is cosmetics that just are going to be trash, because sometimes cosmetics, unless you just knew somebody and they knew you well enough, we're just calling it, trashing it. If it was perfume, you might find a local shelter or something like a, not pet shelter, but like a women's shelter or something that might operate with something like this very well, just even partially used. Hey, I really do have to admit, this is making my house feel better. I wonder how often I need to do this or if maybe the more minimalist I become, the better um, I'll be at not having this happen again. Just taking the things out of bags, even though those are in bags, but those are small ones and they would go rolling everywhere. Made a big difference. Isn't that so much better? Oh, look at the dust up there. No, this is actually not better. And then again, it is just kind of walking through. Um, there's less toothbrushes. This still needs work. I'm keeping my toothbrush there so Silas does not get me sick again. It's actually been a couple of weeks since we did this. Uh, go through the house and just collect trash. Why was there that much trash? I mean, y'all saw the table scattered with stuff. Y'all go outside. Go on outside. So, um, just so ridiculous. Why does trash accumulate? And... I guess we found the most, uh, I don't know, uh, probably trash Walmart sacks. Now, granted, luckily they weren't loose everywhere, 
but they were just piled up over there because the little thing that we have, Walmart sacks, you know, and you pull out the bottom and shove them in the top or sacks, we had that slap full. So then they're sitting over there on top of potatoes and this was, y'all saw that, it was just a disaster. So we are being more diligent with just throwing things away. I would say, and you're gonna see in upcoming videos, um, this does add a level of ease or direction or intentional, you know, purpose, I don't know, to our lives, this minimalist journey so far. Um, we have the back porch that is still just horrifying. There's more than one bag of trash. So I think we actually got three bags of trash out. Yeah, because those boxes take up a lot. But then that lightning strike stuff, why was it sitting around for a year? I don't have no rhyme or reason. But I want you all to subscribe. Stay tuned because we're cleaning off that back porch and then we're going to do a quarantine on that back porch. We're going to quarantine stuff back there. And I'm not sure that we're going to give a lot of that stuff three months. I was thinking like put it back there, give it three months, see if we want any of it after three months or if we take any. I don't know that a lot of that stuff's going to survive. I have found right now that my house in getting rid of stuff and looking around right now and seeing stuff that needs to go that I just really don't have a need or a only ever want. Anyway, I just don't think a lot of stuff is going to survive this minimalist stuff. I find that less is very freeing and I'm finding less dread coming around my house and cleaning it is super easy. It's not hard at all. Cleaning up stuff has become easier and I just think the more I get rid of, the easier it'll be. Yeah, I do. So, stick with us, subscribe, do all that kind of stuff. We really thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to put things in the comments um, and ring that bell, stay tuned because we have more stuff coming. Uh, I got some embarrassing crap to get rid of. I know I don't mean like secrets hidden in the closet. I'm talking about junk. Junk. I bet you have it too. And if you don't, I congratulate you.